These candles held by the Nunzi to Damascus and several other Syrian religious united in the same spirit as this person. The Pope and thousands of others have lit candles to shed light on the darkness of the war in Syria. Above all, the goal is to draw attention to the tragedy of millions of people, especially children, are suffering. This conflict has been a massacre for children. They are the ones who have paid the highest price for this war, both children and women. For this reason, the Pope's gesture and this meeting at the Polish Embassy was beautiful. Both helped keep alive this flame of Syrian youth and children. All these candles are part of Age of the Church in Need's campaign, Candles for Peace in Syria. Some 50,000 children from various Syrian cities and from different religions have painted drawings of peace that have been attached to their candles. The Pontifical Foundation, united with the Embassy of Poland to the Holy See, has a group of ambassadors who heard at first hand the harrowing testimonies coming from Syria. The country suffered for eight years as part of what the UN calls the worst war of this century. Three million children were born during the war, and they know nothing except violence, hatred, and death. Why were the lives of all these people destroyed? We asked the world to be just. In addition to the testimonies, there were emotional moments like this connection with children from a Syrian school. They sang Silent Night. <laughs> They also sang the Our Father in Aramaic, Christ's language, as the Syrian Catholic Archbishop of Aleppo sang along. In addition to lighting a real candle for these little ones during this Christmas season, it's also possible to light a virtual one. To join the campaign through the website, candlesforsyria.org. It's an initiative to remember that the darkness of war does not have the last word. My